So guys, finally we have got Lineage OS for our J7 2016 and in this video I'm going to review the same. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, taking a look at the launcher, we get a Trebuchet launcher and yeah, we have this uh, essential Lineage apps and I have not installed the G apps because I wanted it to be faster boot. I will show the installation fully in the installation part. So let's move into settings and to about device we get uh, Android version 7.1.2 with the latest December security patch. So guys now let's take a look at one of the main things uh, which we use which is the camera and the rear camera works really fully as you can see it takes pictures, uh, it records uh, okay it rec okay what does this okay the rear side records videos too as you can see everything is getting recorded uh, no user stuff and now let's move to the front side here we can see it's taking okay so the front side is also taking recordings uh, so to know how well it's really awesome and now let's move to the camera now the front camera is not working like it shows a preview just click a picture and it freezes like this on nothing it does so when you take a look at the gallery you get nothing only recording and now about the features of the lineage os uh, like there are some minimal features of the lineage os i've explained all of them in a separate video so you can just click this i button and go through the video to get the features of the lineage os and to conclude about this uh, lineage os first build is as this is the first build we may experience some bugs but in my opinion the first build for our JSON 2016 and other Exynos 787 devices, 7870 devices is much stable than other devices get their first build. So we have the NFC bug, uh, uh, maybe yes, mainly we face in USB, the VLT which can be like impossible to fix at this moment for developers on Exynos devices, even if it's, even it's not available on S7H official Linux OS and uh, also one voice bug on second sim only geo users are facing some people uh, said they have a working voice on the second sim so you can try it out yourself and nothing else so let's move to the installation now all things are explained okay. so guys to install just power off your device and just press the volume up the home and the power key to boot into recovery mode now if you like thinking of just taking a look at the uh, like demo thing just back up your older rom and you can restore it later so first go to wipe then dialbex system data cache just wipe it after wiping just go to install here's the lineage os just swipe to wipe uh, swipe to confirm flash and after flashing lineage os just go back uh, to the directory where you have downloaded the uh, uh, g apps so i have downloaded any uc downloads open g apps and swipe so guys, GS, GApps installation is just finished and I recommend you to install, uh, just download and install the Pico version only because other gives some Google account errors. So guys, that's it and just reboot system and you are into the Lineage OS with uh, all the things working, only leaving some bugs. So that's it guys for the video and if you guys really enjoyed, please press the like button. Also press the dislike if you're not enjoyed and just place the feedback in the comment section and also subscribe for more videos. And bye-bye, I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye-bye, nothing else.